In football, the worst things are excuses. Excuses mean you cannot grow or move forward. From my point of view, I always wanted to fight until the end of my last chance. I want the ball for 90 minutes. When I don't have the ball, I go high pressing because I want the ball. I'm sorry, but until my last day as a coach, I will try to play from my goalkeeper. It's natural for players to be relaxed, so you have to be there to say, you have to do it again and again and again. The people say I have to change, well, the people have to tell me what I should do to change. If I believed in it, and it wasn't productive for the team, I wouldn't do it. People say you must be pragmatic, more clinical, more pragmatic than me, I'm sorry. I proved myself in Barcelona, and after I proved myself in Germany, I wanted to prove myself in England. When you are 10 points behind, you have to be focused just on the next game. To score four times against an Italian team when you trail 2-0 to zero is a big deal. We need the whole squad, every player of the team, if we are to be successful. Creating something new is the difficult part. To make it and build it and get everyone to follow? Amazing. I am grateful to be here. And I will always be grateful for the opportunity Manchester City gave me. I understand and accept that for the people of Munich, only the trouble will do. I won 21 titles in 7 years, 3 titles per year playing in this way. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not going to change. I come here to be coach of Manchester City and train these players. That's the reason I am here. For my experience, my family. I will always be grateful for the people who brought me here. The fans can accept a poor performance, but they won't take it when you choose not to put in the effort. If you wanted to win, you have to beat the big teams in Europe, and Juventus are awesome. Why am I here? Yes, to win titles, because then I will feel happy for the people. But the process is the reason why. You hear all these people saying, Oh, Pep, what a good manager he is. Forget about it. Cruyff was the best by far. Manchester City has a really good academy, and they're winning titles at all ages. I won't be training at 60 years old, because I wanted to do something else in my life. It is one of the best clubs in the world by far. I'm loving Manchester City. It's a pleasure. We are lucky guys to be there in front of the millions and millions watching us. What happens in the Premier League is that when they arrive in the area, they punish you. I thank Manchester City for giving me the opportunity to train these amazing players. I don't think in the big clubs in Europe you can find three strikers with an average age of 20. What I have to do to make sure I don't lose some games in a row, I don't know. At Barcelona, I had the best players ever. And they helped me to be a successful manager. At the end of the day, it's my players play against their players. And the end of the day, that's what's important. 
I don't understand the lack of respect for amazing players when people say they are not good enough for me. For the last decade, the last 50 years, Barcelona dominate football matches. I love the way they play. Sometimes when you miss out on points, it is a pity, it is a shame, because we tried to do everything in the game. I enjoy every day in Manchester. I am confident we can make a step forward to make people proud of us.